Alright, so you guys should know by now that I'm on a mission to make every single drink from this book. And so today we come to the Kentucky Maid. It's basically a bourbon sour with cucumber and mint. And I'm pretty interested to try this. I've, I've never had it before. Because the only time I've ever had mint with bourbon is in a julep. And I just, I've never liked it. I've, I've never enjoyed that. And I've also never had cucumber with bourbon. So, I'm curious. I trust the book, but I don't know. So... Let's see how this goes. So, I don't know who invented the Kentucky Maid, but the recipe I'm following is from Regarding Cocktails by Sasha Petrosky. I'll build this in a mixing tin, and I'm going to start by separating the leaves from a mint sprig and reserving the very top for my garnish. Then I'll cut three thin-ish cucumber slices. Now those are prepped, I need three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of fresh lime juice, and two ounces of bourbon. Then I'll add two of the cucumber slices and eight mint leaves to the tin, followed by ice, one large cube cracked and one left whole. Cap the tin and shake until it's nice and chilled. Then I'll add a large ice cube to a rocks glass and strain the cocktail over the ice. I'll add the cucumber to the rim and slap the mint to release the aroma before tucking it into the glass. And that is the Kentucky Maid. All right, well, moment of truth. Time to give this thing a try and find out, find out if it's any good. I will say before I taste it, there's a bunch of small mint particles kind of floating around in it. If I was gonna do this again, I would have used my large cocktail, two-piece cocktail tin with a separate Hawthorne strainer and a fine strainer. I think that it would have been a lot more pleasing visually up close if all that stuff wasn't there. But all that aside, uh, it's really pretty. It's, it's more pale than I would have expected. It's got a nice froth on top from the uh, cucumber. It smells interesting. It's really cucumber forward, but I can smell the bourbon and a little bit of the mint. All right, time to actually taste it. Cheers. That's really good. Oh, that's really good. Okay, interesting, wow. All right, I'm gonna have to taste this again before I give you guys tasting notes. Okay, wow, this has a really long evolution of flavor. The first thing that you taste is the lime, mint, and sugar, kind of like a mojito style flavor. But then about two seconds in, the bourbon maltiness just punches up and, and really just fills your mouth with flavor. And then after you swallow, that will fade a little bit and you start to taste this almost like cake or like cookie flavor. It's like a like a brown butter, maybe like a, a cross between brown butter and kind of like cake donut, I think. I think that's what I'm tasting. And it's strong too. It's like three massive and different flavors that are happening. Just boom, 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 one after the other. I gotta try this again. Oh, that is really good. I gotta say, I'm oftentimes just kind of like bored with the whole, you know, does the does a cocktail have a long evolution of flavor? That kind of stuff to me is really pedantic and tiresome, but this cocktail is kind of making me pedantic and tiresome, I suppose. <laughs> Because it's like three big flavors that just boom, boom, boom hit you and they're so different. It's like that lime mint mojito flavor. Mojito? I can't believe I said that. It's like that lime mint mojito flavor and then boom, that bourbon malt comes up and the oak barrel spice and then you swallow, give it a second and then it's like cookie. Like shortbread cookie. It's like, like Irish whiskey kind of flavor. I just, I don't know man, this is tripping me out. It's not what I thought it would taste like. Like I, I was expecting basically the mint julep experience that I've had before, but just not unpleasant, I guess. It doesn't taste like a mint julep, at least not like a mint julep that I've ever had. This is, this is totally different, which I mean, in hindsight, duh, it's a bourbon sour with lime juice and cucumber. I mean, the, the only commonality is bourbon and mint. You got to 
several other ingredients. Yeah, you've got some main flavor commonality between this and a mint julep, but like it's not the same cocktail at all, ingredient wise or preparation wise. So, I mean, I shouldn't have expected that, but I did, okay? So sue me, I did. <laughs> I guess I also kind of expected something like the hole in the cup, right? That tequila, cucumber, lime, sour with a little absinthe in it. This doesn't taste anything like that. Um, of course it doesn't taste anything like that. I've just, I, I guess I didn't know what to expect. And I had all these thoughts sort of bouncing around in my head. Like you look at the color of it and it's not, it's not really pleasing at least you know, what I'm seeing on camera pre-color grading is not, it's not great looking. It's kind of pale and greenish and like, okay. It doesn't look like a bourbon cocktail, but my goodness, it tastes like a bourbon cocktail. You know, I like things that taste like bourbon. If you like the video, hit the button. If you don't like the video, hit the other button and let me know why in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Luke. This has been the Homemade Edition, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.